Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your pick a card reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Are You Destined to Be Together? All right, so this is gonna be stone number one with the Angelite, stone number two with the Carnelian, stone number three with the Green Onyx, and stone number four with the Smoky Quartz. So you can take a moment and pause the video if you have to and get out your pendulum. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much and let's go ahead and get started and let's find out if you're destined to be together. All right, so I have the cards for stone number one with the angelite, and let's find out if you're destined to be together. So I know this looks a little different. I had to clarify this card because it was really confusing. So we have the seven of pentacles. We have the 10 of wands. We have the ace of wands. We have the king of swords. We have the hermit. We have the three of swords, and then we have the 10 of pentacles here. Then we have number 19, flexible as your oracle card. So the signs, I'm gonna go over really quickly. This doesn't have to be for everybody, but a lot of people do get the, like to go by these signs. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that the King of Swords, is Capricorn Aquarius, and the Hermit is Virgo. And Ace of Wands could be any fire sign. This one's a little tricky, I won't lie. It got a little tricky. So it's showing that this person is taking a moment and pausing to assess the situation to figure out if they're on the right path. They're looking, they're taking time, look inwards, trying to use wisdom, because this is a heavy burden for them. This is a heavy decision. I feel like there's a decision to be made, even though I don't have any two of wands or anything, but there's but I have, do have the seven of pentacles, which goes, okay, am I on the right path? You know, so obviously there's, they're deciding if they're on the right path. And that is a decision. I do see them ultimately wanting a new start. I do feel like it is with you, but it will cause um, a heartache with the family unit. So maybe they're in a relationship with somebody else or they're getting divorced or something, or you are, or something like that. But either way, this, I feel like you will be destined to be together, that you're, you're going to come together, but it could cause some difficulty through, um, maybe your, your so either like you, maybe you had a girlfriend or a wife or something and you had kids or, you know, or you're a woman and you had, a boyfriend or a husband and you have kids with that person or even could be you know your mother or father but for some of you that's going to be a lot less of you out there for that one but I do see it causing um an issue with that and so that's why I feel like it's asking you to be flexible I'm going to read that it says, in every relationship, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity, it's what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. You can still get all your needs met. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can easily release your old ideas about what sort of partner is right for you. Be flexible. You'll be happy you made that choice. So yeah, I'm feeling like you are going to be with this person, but it's not going to be without its, you know, difficulties or whatever. But I mean, what is really perfect? I mean, come on. Let's be idealistic here. When we have a past, we're going to have past things and baggages are going to come along with it. And you can work through it. You can choose to work through it or you could just cop out, you know, so you don't have to deal with that. But that's just how, you know, that's not the right way to be because everybody's going to have something. Okay, and if they don't, 
they probably will with you. And then after you break up, you'll end up having it, carrying that over to somewhere else. It's a lot of people, you know, end up having things. So anyways, that's all I have for stone number one. If you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And it really helps me out. If you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. And if you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. All right. Well, thank you very much. And I'm going to move on to stone number two. All right, so I have the cards for stone number two with the carnelian, and let's find out if you're destined to be together. So we have the knight of wands, we have the two of wands, we have the seven of cups, we have the queen of wands, we have the ace of swords, and we have the fool, and then we got a bonus card. We have the eight of cups, and they also have number 32 here and now. So the signs associated with this reading is, let's see, with the Knight of Wands. Is Scorpio Sagittarius the Queen of Wands? Is Pisces and Aries? You know, swords could be any sign, any air sign. But I'm mostly going by these. All right, so, hmm, this person is very passionate and confident, or you are, depends on what you identify as, but Either way, I see them moving forward and making a decision. Either now, I feel like um, you might have offered them some sort of truth, something um, like some direct communication that was kind of brought some light to the situation and they are moving forward and they're making a choice. And apparently they have a lot of choices and they will be taking a leap of faith but I feel like there's a very good chance that they could be moving away from you, though, and into another situation. So, right now, I'm feeling like it's a no. I don't feel like it's 100%, though, because, you know, it can change. You know, usually, you, it's changeable. You're, it's, you can change things about Tarot and everything like that. These are not static. This is... You can do whatever you want to do. The whole point of Tarot is to help you to help make decisions and how to act and react to different situations and are part of it anyways. And to help, you know, get, get guidance, just ideas about the situation, maybe to help you see a different perspective. But... feeling at least for now it's a no because of these cards right here and I feel like see I would have said yes with this leap of faith here except that I asked to clarify it and I got this eight of cups which means I feel like that's moving away from you it's moving away emotionally doesn't mean it's permanent but from what I can see right now it's a no but I feel like it can be changed that's my intuition it's telling me it can be changed. But for right now, the path, the current path that they're heading down and that is going on, it's a no. But like I said, things can be changed. If you'd be interested in knowing like what you can do to change to maybe I want to do a pick a card. If you have ideas for reading idea titles, it has to be a simple title. It's where it's just like straight to the point but it has to have a good keyword. But what I want it to be consist of, and I don't know if anybody would be into it, but I want to do a pick a card we're going, what can you do to change the outcome to make it more favorable? You know, if you want to, like say if you want to be with somebody, you know, I want to give it like guidance, but people don't want to like listen to guidance readings for some reason, so. I have to change it to something else that is a little bit more catchy or something so people will watch it. But 
but I want it to be like guidance, like what can you do to change the outcome of the situation to make it better, a favorable outcome. You know, I want to do something like that because I can do that reading and it's actually really cool. Anyways, moving on, we have number 32 here and now I'm going to read it. It's easy to yearn for a love affair or friendship that you may not have right now. One that is more romantic, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. The good old days are gone and a new day has dawned. Let your heart trust that you have everything you need right now, whether you have the relationship you desire or not. Tomorrow is beyond your reach. Yesterday cannot return. And now is all that is available to you. Stay present and aware that in this moment, as you cherish and approve of your beautiful self, you are a magnet for love. Spirit is madly in love with you right now. Did you know that? Turn to spirit to feel the joy of love in the in the here and now. So that's what it's saying. And sorry to give you some bad news. Um, but like I said, I feel like this one's changeable. I feel like it can change, but it's just this is the current path that's heading down. So if anything, you can use this as like a check to see what path you're going down and if you should make some adjustments. So anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And I'm going to move on to stone number three. All right, so I have the cards for stone number two with the green onyx. And let's find out if you're destined to be together. So we have the Five of Wands, we have the Lovers in the Reverse, we have the Six of Cups in the Reverse, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Two of Cups in the Reverse. And then for the Oracle card, we have Soulmates, number 41. But don't get excited. It is a no, okay? Don't get excited. These are in the Reverse. You are Soulmates. Don't get me wrong. But you're not meant to be with every person who's a soulmate. And this person did come along to change you and to influence you, but you're not soulmate. I mean, you're not. You are soulmates, but you're not going to be together. Not together together. I do see with the Five of Wands, we have a lot of conflict and stuff here. Uh, let's see what signs are associated with this one. So we have the Queen of Swords, which is Virgo Libra. The Lovers is Gemini. And I'm not going to remark on the other ones because those are like kind of lesser things. And I've been trying to cut back on those. <sighs> so it doesn't have to be those signs. Okay. But... I see a lot of conflict with the person. I don't know if this is you or what, or if this is them, but there's a lot of conflict here. Lots of problems in the situation. And I see that you or them are having difficulty. I don't know. There might be some unrequited love. It doesn't have to be for everybody. It could be all sorts of different things. Part of it feels kind of like a decision is that they decide to do something else for themselves. I do see, like, there is conflict. And I see that they are looking back on the situation and and on the memories they're thinking. They're having the memories or thinking about replaying memories in their head and they're not positive. They might just f feel like that your guys are incompatible. Which is kind of funny because you are soulmates. I wonder how many times, <laughs> how many lives you're going to go through and, and if, like, they're always going to be, you're incompatible. I mean, this, we have all these twos and it's about coming together. There's definitely something here. Okay, so if you're wondering if there's something here, there is. You're not crazy. Okay, but they're having a hard time relating to you. It's the, there's unequal give and take going on here. There is a balance of masculine and feminine energy. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe if you want to figure out more, I can always give you a private reading or something. But, um, 
because I feel like there is something more to this reading, you know, than this. There's there's more in between, but right now, as of right now, are you destined to be together? I have to say no, just because you've got the Two of Cups in reverse, we have the Lovers in reverse, we have the Six of Cups in reverse, we have the Five of Wands. There's a lot of, like, negatives here, and this isn't a positive card either. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read number 41, Soulmates. And it says, Consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate come to guide you home to the real you. So yes, this person is your soulmate. You are soulmates, and but I mean, a lot of people are soulmates. You have there's a lot of you don't just have one soulmate. That's more like twin flames. You have multiple soulmates, and everybody is meant to play a role in your life in order to help you evolve and become a better person. And it might not seem good at the time, like oh, this is making me feel like crap. How's this bettering me? But usually, becoming a better person hurts. It sucks. Okay, it's not a party, and it's not meant to be a party. It's not going to be like, woohoo, I just had a time in my life. I'm a better person now. Usually, negative things are what helps become and help mold and shape you, not positive things so much. You know, the negative ones always seem to stick with you more. You know, unfortunately, that's the way it is, especially the hard lessons. And I bet you... That most of these lessons do try to come easier, but they just don't stick. They they but we'll keep having those lessons happen to us over and over again until we get it. And if we don't get it the nice way, it, it'll keep getting harder and harder. So I feel like this person was brought into your life for a reason. I can always look into it if I did give you a private reading, but other than that, I'd have to say a no for right now. I can always help, you know, figure out, you know, what they were in your life for on an individual basis, but this is too general of a reading. But it does, this is definitely a special connection, and unfortunately, they, I don't know, they could be afraid of the connection. There could be all sorts of things that could be happening that come with these type of things. But anyways, I hope you appreciate this kind of reading. If you do, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much. And now I'm going to move on to stone number four. All right, so I have the cards for stone number four with the smoky quartz. And let's find out if you're destined to be together. So we have the eight of wands. We have the seven of cups. We have the king of swords. We have the two of pentacles. We have the knight of swords. We have the ace of wands. And we have a bonus card, the hangman. And then we have number 44, thinker, as your oracle card. All right. So the signs associated with this could be Capricorn, Aquarius, any fire sign. And the knight of swords is Taurus Gemini. Does it have to be? Oh, we have the hangman, which is Pisces. All right, so what's going on here? I do feel like there is, you are destined to be together, but it's, it's going to happen. Like, I feel like, like the situation, the relationship is going to happen really quickly and that there's going to be a little struggle and um, trying to keep a balance here. Okay, because I feel like I, there's going to be rushing. There's going to be a lot of rushing. And there's all of these things that you have to take into consideration with the Seven of Cups. Is I'm feeling like a lot of options, a lot of, you know, thinking about different options, trying to be a logical thinker with the King of Swords. But I do see a new beginning. However, I feel like there's going to have to be a pause. There's going to be some kind of pause, like right before the final beginning of this relationship. Okay. It does feel like, like a pause. This card is definitely, I just opened the book right to it. I didn't even have it set aside, at, like bookmarking it or anything. All right, so we have number 44, Thinker, and it says, Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. 
This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there's enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work and you, and should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy. <laughs> God, it was just saying right here. Um, this one is talking about this one a lot. There's other fish in the sea. Um, now is not the time to indulge in a fantasy, no matter what. In this case, the facts are the facts. So I feel like, yeah, and there's going to be a pause okay to try to kind of like wait a minute wait a minute we're going too fast we're rushing into this let's take a moment and reassess what we're doing make sure we're going and doing the right things before we do anything too that we might regret so yes i feel like i feel like it is a yes because we do have the ace of wands with the new beginning but um there's going to be a pause and a reassessment of things to make sure that everybody's doing the right thing because i feel like it's all happened really quickly Anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, well, thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and night. God bless.